Oh, there you Keep go. It. <laughs> That's a good what up, what up? We'll here with the Slow Pitch Bat Bros. And today, folks, we have a little showdown of Mikan versus Suncoast with the Kyle Pearson Freak 23 versus the Ruckus Max Competitive Edge. Let's get it. All right, folks, so for our next Battle of the Brand showdown, we have Mikan versus Suncoast with a couple short barrels here. Very uh, good apples to apples comparison with the Mikan Freak 23 12 inch barrel half ounce end load and the Suncoast Ruckus Max Competitive Edge 12 inch barrel half ounce end load. The only difference, this is going to come in half weight. So this is a 26.5, this is a 26. So first we'll test compression and make sure these are at uh, a similar starting compression. If not, we'll put some swings on one of them. All right, first the Sun Coast. This should be about 275 and yep, right at 270 there. We'll rotate it once and about 275 right there. Now the Freak 23, I will say the compression testing is very uh, variable and weird on these. First test is almost 300. Let's rotate it and I, I bet it's gonna change. And 275, 280 right there. We'll do one last one. And 280. So we will give the Freak 23 uh, a few swings here to try to get it more towards 275, 270. A few moments later. All right, and about 30 swings later, we're right at about 275 there with the KP. All right, folks, we have 300 feet all around today. Uh, it's about 70 degrees probably. And the balls we're hitting here, we have Evil BP 52 Plus balls and Dudley Thunder ZN Pro M's. These are pretty soft. Anything above like 60 degrees, these are pretty soft. So I think a 52 is probably pretty comparable. All right, we're gonna start here with the Mike and Freak 23, 26 ounce. Uh, in past years with the Freak 23, first few swings were kind of pingy. Uh, th this is new tech from Mike and Worth with all their 2022 bats. The watermelons, the DC-41, all the new 2022 paint jobs. It's a higher compression bat than it was in past years. That's good. And on all these bats, I'm pretty sure on every single one now, they have the smaller knob on there. That feels better. That ball's hand. Yeah. Feels really good. Feels very good for being up at 275, 280. And close. Look. It does have a really forgiving barrel. Yeah. For being okay. You squeaked it out. Squeaked it out. All right, good for giving barrel for a 12 inch. Not crazy hot, no. no. Definitely doesn't feel as hot out of the wrapper as that white one from last year, but that one's gonna last you a lot longer. And that white Freak 23, that 2021, uh, did have quite a bit of like cosmetic issues and that top layer was cracking pretty often and they did not hold compression very well. All right, folks, one of the most popular bats in higher up U SA uh, 240 softball we have the Competitive Edge Short Barrel Sun Coast End Load here. Uh, the all black one is the same as this. This is just the Competitive Edge paint job. Freaking squeaky barrel, dude. All right, let's see. Oh, dude, I can already tell you, man. One swing. This is way harder out of the wrapper. That wasn't even close, bro. Oh, my goodness. We'll try to get some exit velo testing done, too, at the end of this video here, but... That wasn't close. Yeah, that just feels. From here, you can just hear it. It's so much different. Yeah, it's, it feels different. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, man. This is like easier to swing too. It's like the end load is less pronounced. Yeah, dude, like, what'd you see? Did you <laughs> see it come back? Crazy. That's hands. Dude, it's, it's so much of a difference right now. That's crazy. Yeah, maybe the Freak 23 is testing like 10 or so points higher, but like, it feels like, it feels like more than that. 
Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, that's not close at all. Um, let's move on to the pro -Ms. and try to get a few more cuts on this thing, man. And then we'll test them at the end. Cause what I think will happen is the Suncoast will come down in compression a little bit, like after these rounds and this will stay like at 275. This might just be a lot uh, more sturdy of a bat. But I think the barrel is probably more forgiving on this, but it's not necessarily like hotter like I got that one off the hands with the sun coast and it still went oh out destroyed finally got a good one it's still top spinning short That needs to go. All right, barely. It's like, it feels so good. And you can tell like, this isn't quite game ready from my initial glance. This feels game ready from swing one, even though it was testing at about 270. End of the bat kinda. Dude, that's, it's like not even close right now. Oh my, we're gonna have to reconsider the top five, bro. This is really good. Oh, that sounds so much better. Dude, even that just felt electric. That was a 70% swing. Oh, Dude. This thing is money. Oh, All right, one, one more with the KP. <laughs> All right, like two more with this. Yeah, I can still hit it out with this, but I kind of have to swing a lot harder. And I can't miss hit it out. I can miss hit it out with the ruckus. There we go. I saw that classic M stamp and got excited. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> but, a good swing. But this, it made no sound. I know. It sounded yeah. like I miss hit it. It's depressing. Okay, well. I would swing this over the KP right now. Like this would go in my top five. All right, ruckus. Dude. Yeah, this one's just incredible. Like I really didn't even get that well. Oh God. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> that one like hit the catwalks yeah that felt crazy man all right so first compression here on the freak 23 and didn't budge bro 275 270 so the new mike and worth bats are definitely going to be a higher compression difficult to break in type of bat uh and w in the pro m ball era that's going to be kind of a little less desired i think because one it's a little bit harder to break in bats because that ball is kind of soft. And two, I think the bats are probably going to hold compression a little longer just because the ball is softer and it's not compressing the barrel as much. So this could have used a lot more hacks, guys. Kind of a tough comparison because this felt amazing out of the wrapper and I'm assuming it, it's going to come down a little bit here. All right, now we have the Sun Coast and 255. So that's the difference, folks. If you want something that is game ready, is going to feel great immediately, uh, that you're just going to put in your bag as your gamer right away. That Sun Coast is awesome. If you want something that you can BP a lot, that's going to be a lot more durable for you. The Freak 23 and like the D Marinis are also another great bet. But this is one of the hottest bats I have swung. Uh, the Louisville, I still think is clearing away the hottest bat I've swung, especially at a little bit higher compression. But dude, out of the wrapper, testing at like 270, 275, that thing felt incredible. No question hotter than the KP today. It's just gonna not last quite as long. So if longevity is what you're after, uh, Mike and Worth D Marini is probably your better bet. If hot out of the wrapper is what you're after, Suncoast and Louisville seem to kind of be uh, the brands to roll with right now. Anarchy is also very good out of the wrapper. 
And we'll do some quick exit velo testing here. We do have a big exit velo test video uh, coming in the next week or so. But today we at least kind of want to see what these are at. These are testing almost 20 points away from each other. So it wouldn't be really fair to test them against each other, right? So we'll put the Freak 23 testing at about 275 against my uh, Louisville Genesis two-piece testing at about 275. Then we'll put the Ruckus testing at about 255 against my uh, Nautilus testing at about 255. These are uh, the Louisville and the Marini, both top five bats. This is, I think, is number four right now. Uh, the Louisville's number one. Try to get one really good barrel with each here. That is hammered, baby. 98. Okay, now we got the Louisville. Ninety nine point nine. All right, so two miles an hour up. So that Freak Twenty Three, man, a little bit of a bummer, honestly. It's still good, can be very durable, more durable than the Louisville, definitely, and uh, it's gonna last longer than the Suncoast even. But a little bit soft right now. Could definitely use a lot more swings. Okay, now we got the Suncoast Ruckus for one swing. This one's gonna be hot. One oh two. Oh man. Then we have the Nautilus. One oh one point eight. So it's right there, dude. That Suncoast is gonna be a top five bat, man. It's good and hot out of the wrapper and hammers the ball for being at two fifty, two fifty five compression.